They ain't very nice. They're called gunners. So if you see any, make sure you stay far away from them, all right? Okay, now, I gotta go. But wherever you are, stay safe. I'll see you again soon, sweetheart. What was that all about? Oh, hey, darling. Uh, didn't hear you come in. Turns out our radio connection between the hub and the ASAMs works just fine. I was just recording a message for someone. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. Well, after the whole gunner thing, I just... Uh, well... It's kind of... Oh, this is awkward. I was sort of hoping to keep this private. <laughs> what I wouldn't give for an interruption Search right now. Complete. Huh? Oh, right. I asked the robot to find my screwdriver. <laughs> Good timing. Um, I don't mean to question your logic, Chip, but... Does that look like a screwdriver to you? Affirmative. You know what? You're right. Turns out this hammer is my screwdriver after all. Good work. Now, why don't you go patrol or something? Protect and serve. Uh, that plot ain't right. Looks like you've got your hands full. I'll leave you to it. Not so fast. Tell you what, darling. If you can find my screwdriver, I'll tell you who I was recording the message for. It's probably past time I told you anyway. Sound fair? Not even a hint. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. If you want to know, you got to find my screwdriver. That's the deal. All right. Deal. All right, then. We have ourselves a gentleman's agreement. Hey, I can patch you up if you need for a small fee. What's new, Doc? Got nothing. Just trying to practice medicine. Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. What's feeling off to me? What can you tell? I'm pretty beat up. Ah, I've seen worse. Better stitch you up before infection sets in. All done. Any other complaints? That was it. Off you go, then. Did it. I was afraid we were making a mistake trying to stand up to those bastards, but the Minutemen came through for us. Do I know you? No. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. Danger? No thanks. Well, you know your own business. If you change your mind, look me up at Cabot House, Beacon Hill. Ask for Edward Deegan.
Last time I remember having my screwdriver, I was doing something. And then the robot started making a big fuss. Thought it saw something outside moving around. Oh, hey. Did you think it over and change your mind? Does this Brahmin really belong to you? What? What do you think? It's stolen or something? <laughs> ah, she's mine. Of course she's mine. Could be yours, too, for a very reasonable price. Sure, I'll take her. Oh, great, great. Just tell me where you want me to send her, and she's all yours. It's good doing business with you, sister. I'm sure I'll see you around. to trade anything new in the store take a look for yourself see something you like buy it my stock moves fast I fixed up most of what's here myself so it's all guaranteed <laughs> unless you need to return come back later my stocks always changing you're not with my caravan so don't bother me huh need to pick something up it's pretty long from here what kind of stuff do you have? Just a bit of everything. You'd be surprised what people leave behind on the old roads. Gotta keep your eyes peeled for your good stuff. Got plenty to sell if you're interested. I've got a few minutes to browse. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. You're from one of the vaults, huh? Oh, this must be Jake. Here. Hey, you found it. Thanks. 
It's driving me nuts looking for this thing. Okay, you held up your side of the deal. I'll spill the beans on who I was recording that message for. Ready for a little history of Jake? Tell me the whole story. All right, full backstory it is. So, as I'm sure you already figured out, I'm not exactly local to these parts. I come from a settlement called Sanford. You ever heard of it? It's a nice place, providing you don't mind the odd cyclone or two. What's it like? There are far worse places to be in the wasteland you could find yourself. Life there was hard, but it was home. Anyway, that's where I grew up and became a young man. And where I met this young woman. One thing led to another, and... I knew you had it in you. <laughs> well, yeah, I had a daughter. I named her Laura. And from the moment she was born, that kid became my world. <gasps> what the... Oh, that damn generator again! This is the fifth time it stalled today! Again? It's the old plutonium well. The generator that kickstarts the fission reaction. It's been real temperamental lately. Hey, you, if you wouldn't mind, could you go get it started again for me? It probably just needs refueling. Detected. What are you doing down here? This unit is patrolling. We're done. Protect and serve. Protect and serve. 
what's up? Ah, I got the generator humming again, I see. Thanks. It's no fun trying to work in the dark. Now, uh, where was I? Oh, right. So, years pass, and Laura grows up. However, me and her mom, Caitlin, we ended up drifting apart and separating. But I'd still see Laura all the time, though. And when she'd stay with her mom, we'd keep in touch the radio. So, one day, I broadcasted our usual radio time to say goodnight. But there's no response. Now, you gotta understand, Laura's the most punctual kid you'd ever meet. She was never late for anything. Naturally, I begin to panic a little, worrying if something bad might have happened to her. So I rush over to Caitlin's house and... What were you expecting? I don't know. But I definitely didn't expect what I found. So... I arrive at Caitlin's house, gun in hand and ready for the worst. I open the door and... There was no one there. What? At first I thought someone must have broken into the place. I've dug to Caitlin and my kid. The more I looked around, the more I realized everything was tidy. No signs of struggle. And then I noticed all their belongings were missing. I ran to Laura's room. All her toys, books, even her ham radio was gone. They hadn't been kidnapped. They just packed up and left. Do you know where she went? I checked around the house, but there were no clues to where they'd gone. Well, there's no way in hell I was gonna let Caitlin just disappear with my daughter. After asking around, I found out they booked passage on a caravan. They'd set off that very morning. I dashed back home, gathered a few essentials, and set off in pursuit. Anyway, I tracked that damn caravan halfway across the wasteland. By the time I caught up with it, it made its final stop, here, in the Commonwealth. Caitlin and Laura had already departed, but I knew where they were now. Since then, I've put out a radio message every night, hoping Laura might hear it, know that her dad is out here looking for her. After our little run-in with the Gunners, I needed to warn her to stay away from him. I know she probably won't hear it, but... But still, I had to try. It's just, I've not really spoken to anyone about Laura since I got here. <laughs> Unless you count the Ron. Anyway, thanks for listening. Feels good to finally share, get everything off my chest. What is it now? Feral dwarves? Irradiated death claws? What? What's all this about death claws? Oh, old Paul! <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't expecting visitors. How's it going, Paul? Well, cheese and crackers. You must be the ones with the Asim sensors, eh? Uh, me and my partner here, yeah. And they're called ASAMs. Is it true what the old geezer said? Can Asims really help build up settlements? Well, sure. As long as what your settlement needs are some homes or farms. Or a scrap heap. But I should warn you, recently there's been some trouble with. Gee, a scrap heap? Well, that settles it. We'll take 100 Assums, please. Ah, uh, how many caps does that come to? Whoa, whoa, slow down. We're not just peddling some product here. Besides, I'm not even sure we should be handing these things out anymore. What do you mean? Why not? Hey, don't tell me you've already forgotten. That Aiden guy may have been a Brahmin's ass, but he did have a point. It's a fair bet that settlement got attacked because they used ASAMs. Who's to say the same thing wouldn't happen again? You don't. That's part of the risk, right? I'm just not sure it's right to give out sensors to random settlements no more. Not if it puts them in danger. If you're concerned about giving sensors out to strangers, why not have them join us instead? I've got no problem defending those we bring into the fold. Hey, we'd be happy to join with you. Right now we're kind of living rough, so whatever it takes to get some assums, eh? I don't know. You need to decide, Jake. What's it gonna be? I... I don't know. After the whole gunner thing. What do you think, darling? What's the right thing to do? 
I want to hear the details first. Oh, sure thing. See, me and a whole bunch of others, we had to flee our old home. And the place we've taken up ain't all that great. We could really use some help, so we'd be happy to join you. Tell me about the options. Well, we could let them join us. But if we do that, we might just be making them a target. That's why I'm not sure what to do. Don't worry. I'll get you up and running. Really? You'd have us? Oh, geez, thanks. I still think we're maybe asking for trouble. But I think you're right. We can't be scared to help folks. Okay, let's do this. Oh, you really don't know what this means to us. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Welcome to the family. Uh, sorry, what's your name? Hubert. Here, I'll mark where we're staying on your Pip-Boy. I'll run ahead and tell the others. Meet you there, eh? I'll tag along with the youngin. I'm fairly familiar with sensors by now. I'll get his people up to speed before you arrive. Here, darling, take these. A few extra ASAMs, in case you need them. Let's get these folks up and running. And if the gunners do show up again, well, we'll just have to put them in their place, won't we? I'm gonna get back to repairing the hub. Oh, and, uh, thanks again for listening today. Good luck now. <laughs>